Today we're showing you how to properly assemble the SMC600R motorcycle carrier from Rage Power Sports. Parts for assembly include carrier frame, loading ramp, carrier track, support brackets, main hitch tube, tie down tubes, front tire stop, rear cradle, 3 inch bolts and lock nuts, 5 8 inch sleeves, 1 inch bolts and lock nuts, tie down eye bolts and lock nuts, 2 inch bolts and lock nuts, 3 quarter inch bolts and lock nuts, and ramp storage wing nuts. Parts needed for step 1 include main hitch tube, 2 support brackets, and 8 3 quarter inch bolts and lock nuts. To begin, secure support brackets to the outside of the main hitch tube mounting tabs using 3 quarter inch bolts and lock nuts. At this point, keep bolts only finger tight. Parts needed for step 2 include carrier frame and 2 inch bolts and lock nuts. To attach the carrier frame, align the mounting holes with the mounting holes on the support brackets. Please note, before securing the carrier frame, make sure the smaller mounting holes are facing up and the larger mounting holes are facing down. Place the carrier frame between the support brackets. Secure using 2 inch bolts and lock nuts. Now fully tighten all bolts, including the bolts from the previous step with two 13mm wrenches. Parts needed for step 3 include carrier track, tie down tubes, 3 inch bolts and lock nuts, and 5 8 inch sleeves. Slide the tie down tubes into the carrier frame, aligning the mounting holes and keeping the ramp storage pins to the inside of the carrier. Place the carrier track on the carrier frame aligning mounting holes. Before securing, make sure the front tire stop and rear cradle mounting holes are on the left side or driver side of the carrier. Secure the carrier track using 3 inch bolts, 5 8 inch sleeves and lock nuts. Please note. The 5 8 inch sleeves are designed to seat inside the larger mounting holes. Tighten the 3 inch bolts using two 19 millimeter wrenches. The 5 8 inch sleeves will then begin to compress the carrier track carrier frame and tie down tubes together, keeping the carrier rattle free. Parts needed for step four include front tire stop, rear cradle, and one inch bolts and lock nuts. Align the front tire stop mounting holes with the tire stop mounting holes on the carrier track.
Secure with one inch bolts and lock nuts. Align rear cradle mounting holes with the carrier track cradle mounting holes. Secure with one inch bolts and lock nuts. Tighten all bolts using two 19 mm wrenches. Please note, the front tire stop and rear cradle are adjustable to fit a wide variety of motorcycle tires. To ensure the rear cradle pivots freely, do not over tighten the mounting bolts. Parts needed for step 5 include loading ramp, ramp storage wing nuts, tie down eye bolts, and lock nuts. Attach the tie down eye bolts to the tie down tubes using lock nuts. To tighten the tie down eye bolts, slide a large screwdriver through the eye hole and tighten. Once snug, remove wrench and turn tie down eye bolt to face the carrier. To attach the loading ramp to the carrier, align the mounting holes with the mounting pins located on the tie-down tubes. Secure with the ramp storage wing nuts. Now the carrier is ready for use. Thank you for watching this demonstration video on how to properly assemble the SMC600R motorcycle carrier from Rage Power Sports.